Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gert Tief. And today we have, a, a, well, I can't say something special, but I do have a whiskey. And um, it is a whiskey that I picked up a couple of months ago uh, while buying some, um, some miniatures for review. And I saw this bottle and it was uh, 200 milliliters. And um, it was, uh, well, it was very cheap. And I think um, I should have known by the price that uh, maybe it's not such a good buy. But anyway, um, we cannot always drink expensive whiskey. So I decided to give this one a go. And um, this is going to be a total blind review. I am, I am just going to open the bottle. I'm going to pour it. Um, I, I'm not even sure if you're going to find any tasting notes on this one on the, on the internet. But yeah, um, short video, um, cheap bottle. I think um, I paid about three, three euros, four euros for, uh, for 200 milliliters. I think the, a full bottle will cost you probably about 15, 13 to 15 euros a bottle. So I'm um, really uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel on this one um, but I think it's may maybe it's a good one especially if you want to make the cocktails um, that could be much more um, um, affordable to, to make uh, cocktails out of this but anyway um, color wise uh, uh, probably color added um, it is um, if I look at the bottle it is a product of Scotland it is um, the Glen Scanlon matured in oak casks. Oh, I, that, <laughs> I suppose that is a good sign that it did touch some wood. And it is a blended Scotch whiskey. And also it is give me some information. It's called distilled, distilled in Scotland under British government supervision. So it's a well supervised whiskey. Um, it is called the Reserve Scandon, as I said, bottled at 40% ABV. And the back, um, yeah, no information. Um, don't drink when you're pregnant. Yeah, I'm not pregnant, so I'm, I think I'm good to go. So let's have a quick nose on it, quick taste of it. Give it a, uh, a score. Color-wise, like I said, um, color was added and chill filtered, all those, all those things. So, without um, wasting time, on the nose. Hmm, kind of interesting. I do get purple. Uh, overripe purple, that's got a little bit of a funky um, smell to it. So, yeah. the alcohol, I, I don't get any alcohol in it, so I get the sweetness, but yeah, purple, um, if you cut up a, a purple and you, this is it, I've, I've never smelled that on a, on a, a whiskey before, but that is a big uh, purple note. <coughs> And I think that's it. Um, now I do get a little bit of a, a cinnamon. So yeah, purple and cinnamon, uh, sweet purple and cinnamon. Uh, actually, I'm quite surprised. Um, normally with a cheap whiskey, uh, when you put your nose in it, the first thing that you get is that uh, alcohol hit. And um, it is like window cleaner, um, strong. Um, yeah, I don't get it on this one. So I'm quite surprised. Yeah. So, cheers. Mm. So it's sweet. A um, little bit of a honey note coming through. 
and zero oak. So I don't know how long it was on oak, probably three years uh, and one day. And it's probably on third or fourth full um, um, American cask um, wood or American oak. You don't get the alcohol. I still get a little purple, purple note to it. So like a, a fresh fruit, um, well, fresh purple. Maybe a little bit of a mango note as well. So cross between a purple and a mango. I don't get the alcohol. There's no burning of it. Just the sweetness of the fruit. I think for, for the amount of money that you're going to spend on this, this is actually very nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. People know when I watch my channel. No, I don't like the oak. Um, but for me, it is it is quite refreshing, actually. This is going to be perfect in, um, in cocktails. It's not going to overpower anything. Now I'll get a little bit of a banana on the nose. So yeah, um, cheapest chips, something that you can buy and um, put in your cocktails, put some uh, ice on it, put some water on it. Um, I, I will even put it on a little bit of uh, ice cream. So all in all, um, score-wise, um, I will give it a, a 70 out of a out of a hundred and I think I'm a, being a little bit generous generous it's um, not big on the nose but pleasant on the nose so not a lot of things to find in it but I do like it so 70 out of a hundred I think is a quite a decent score for this one um, and I would encourage you if you are looking for something to make cocktails I think this is it um that's something that that um people will appreciate and i think also people that never have tried scotch before i think they would also appreciate it and um maybe maybe a really a really beginner 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 whiskey very pleasant very light um and very fruity so thank you much very much for watching and um please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell so that you can find out um, when I upload some new videos and I see you next time. Cheers!